we're going to calculate the value of 1 half factorial. So to do that, we have a fact that n factorial is equal to this integral from 0 to infinity of x to the n e to the minus x dx. And we no also know from my previous video that the integral of 0 to infinity of e to the minus x squared dx is square root of pi over 2. So we're going to plug in the 1 half to equation 1. So we get 1 half factorial is the integral 0 to infinity of x to the 1 half e to the minus x dx. So we're going to let y equal x to the 1 half. We'll solve for x, so that's x equals y squared. If we differentiate both sides, we get dy, dx equals 2y dy. So we'll get, when we plug in 0, we'll get 0. When we plug in infinity, we get infinity of y e to the y squared, and then dx would be 2y dy. So we can add another y to that. And then for this integral, we're going to use integration by parts with di method. So we're going to differentiate something, and we're going to integrate something. So we're going to differentiate 2y, and we're going to integrate y e to the minus y squared. We'll actually integrate 2y to make it easier. So when we differentiate y, we get 1, and when we integrate 2y, e to the minus y squared, we get minus e to the minus y squared. We need plus minus, and then we do this term times this term, so that would be negative y, e to the minus y squared from 0 to infinity, minus minus, so we multiply these terms to be plus integral 0 to infinity of e to the minus y squared dy. When we plug in 0, we get 0, and then we plug in infinity. So this would be, so the limit as y goes to infinity of y e to the minus y squared is the limit as y goes to infinity of y over e to the y squared. And e to the y squared, e to the y squared is, grows much faster than y, so this limit goes to 0. So this goes to 0 too, so this is basically like null. And we know this from equation 2, that this is equal to square root of pi over 2. That's the answer.